Okay, you guys. So I am stoning my countertops. <laughs> uh, okay, jokes aside. This is what I'm using right here. This is what you see on the wall. I really like this um, container. It really wasn't that much more. I got it at Home Depot. It already has the tape on it. And this plastic um, folds out. And it, and it actually static clings to the wall, which is really cool. Uh, this Rust-Oleum, I only bought one can. I am going to go purchase two more. Um, this is going to need, this is two coats right here. And it dried overnight. It is going to need four to five coats to get the desired look that I want. I really do not want to see this crack in here. Um, so I'm going to try and fill that in for that. And then I have the polyurethane that will, um, I'll just give it as many coats as I need to smooth it out so that it's a smooth counter. It's not as, as rough as I thought it was going to be, um, but we'll see what it looks like in the end. And then I also have this smaller brush to put the polyurethane on. Okay, you guys, I'm working in the bathroom today. So um, I took out uh, the sliding glass, sliding thing that they had here, um, curtain. Um, the, this is like hardcore glued in there and I don't want to rip it off right now. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I added my shower bar and my shower curtain, which I'll show you more of that later. When I did that, I realized that this side of the cabinet had not been painted. So I've got my first coat of my one, two, three stuff. But the other thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, starting on the countertops. So I'm going to paint them. Pretty excited about it. So the first step um, is painting this one, two, three on the countertop so that the second coat of paint will adhere to it. So let's get busy with doing that. So I am planning on doing um, some epoxy paint probably in this sink and bathtub. I'm just gonna wait for the weather to get better. So I'm not gonna worry too much about um, getting the paint in there or if I get paint on the actual sink. That's why I have not um, taped everything off because that's going to be happening and eventually uh, I'm probably going to end up pulling this sink out and putting in uh, a raised sink that's on top I'd really like to have a butcher uh, butcher top counter and a, a bowl sink that sits on top of that and if you've noticed, I have spray painted all of these, which is a very pretty copper color. So I guess you could say that that is my fourth color that I have added to this RV renovation. Okay, so now I just need to let that dry and then move on to the next thing. And I'll bring you back when we're ready for that.
this is the first coat. It has pretty high fumes. Got that one done also. And now we're going to go into the bathroom and I'll show you how we do it. First you tape everything off. Um, this is plastic that comes with the tape already on it. And what you want to do is start with your corners first. Your edging first. let that dry which is supposed to dry pretty quickly but that is the first coat spray is real so you got to be careful for that I'm gonna have to come back and wipe that off
can't get that one and hold you. Okay, that's the second coat. So I'm gonna have to wipe off the uh, overspray that gets onto the door and the walls. probably gonna end up adding more oh that's what it looks like when you wipe it <laughs> Good thing I got more white paint so I'm gonna have to repaint that And it got all over the wall over here, so I'm gonna add more plastic in this section. So you guys, <laughs> I'm painting these countertops and I realized I've completely missed a countertop. I have one by my bed. Hold on, my bed's not made, but it doesn't matter because now I need to go paint this. So that tiny little counter over there needs to have its top painted. So I'm going to get the base coat put on, which is my one, two, three, and then I'll get started adding the spray. assume that this is a trick that everybody knows but if you're doing a painting project put your wet paint brushes in Ziploc baggies and Ziploc them up because then they'll stay damp and you won't have to constantly wash them out which I can't do right now because it's frozen outside and I don't want to send paint down my drains here in the RV but I'm gonna give you a glimpse at the chaos behind all the glamour <laughs> uh, this place is a mess hold on let me show you literally I'm shifting things to move around because I'm living in this but doesn't that look beautiful I'm going to be adding the second or the third and the fourth coat to these now. That is the third coat. And I know somebody who did put like seven coats, so you just go until it's where you like it. Oh, hey. Totally forgot. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series and you would like to follow me along on my journey of building my homestead here in Northern Idaho. All right, back to painting.
Good morning, you guys. It's day two. We are going to add our third coat to this. I let uh, the first two coats dry overnight. Uh, I think it looks really nice. There's a super close up. So what I'm going to do with this one, what I'm finding with this stuff is not to do um, sweeping motions, but to just spray it in one spot and kind of move on. You definitely want to do your edges first. Um, make sure you hit. But you see that I'm just doing a, a spray and move. I'm not, I'm not sweeping like this. I'm just splotching. And that, I'm running out. Oh, I'm only gonna be able to do this, probably this counter. And the overspray is a lot, so you really want to be conscious of uh, where you're pointing this so that you don't get um, stone spray, you know, in the bathtub and that kind of stuff. Well, I guess I get to do one. So I've, I only bought one can because I have such a small amount of countertops, but you can see how that's, um, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of filling in the spots that don't seem to have have them. I found whenever I was doing um, this, uh, it ended up having more lines in it whenever I was finishing it. So then I just started kind of spray filling. So there's still a tiny bit left in this can. That is actually the third coat, and in person, there we go. This has a very high odor, so don't do what I'm doing. Do it in the wintertime when you can't open all the doors and windows, because uh, it, is, it is very, very smelly. Um, Okay, that's the third coat. I'm going to have to go get more cans. Now on the 
Luckily enough, Home Depot whew, is just right across the street. If you want to, I'll get you flowers. They didn't Waiting have it, you guys. Baby, let's just pretend. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here. finished in Home Depot they had it it was about two dollars more so there's that if Walmart does have it that's where I would definitely try first and now we are on our way back home and then we will get back to this painting <laughs> Guys. 
Look at that. It's so beautiful. Check out the kitchen sink. So I obviously did not do these sink cover thingies um, because I'm going to completely remove them. Uh, I, I don't. They just kind of get in the way. Uh, I am going to get some um, copper paint because there are a couple sections like if you see right here that the tape pulled off but I think I can add um, the copper color and like there's another little spot right there um, it is rough so but I don't actually know if I'm going to take you to the bathroom and let you see that um, I mean look at that I don't know this one has the worst spot right there so, yeah, I think I'll just do it with a, a hand brush. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Justin and I are excited to show you um, the countertops. Uh, I have not put the polyurethane on there yet uh, because these need to dry really, really well. And I am heating with propane, which is a wet heat. Uh, the humming that you hear in the background is my generator so that I can do the air the air heat, the warm air heat, to help dry these out. So uh, they are dry to touch. They're just not dry enough, I think, to put the polyurethane on. Earlier this morning, whenever I was getting ready, uh, I set my makeup down on it and it did scratch it. That's why I believe it's not dry enough yet. Um, so, but I wanna show you, I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. It makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna show you this finished product um, but in this particular video, I'm not going to be able to show you what it looks like with the polyurethane on it. You will need to come to uh, the next video, which will be uh, the finished walkthrough of the RV. And, and I will tell you how many coats I ended up putting on there and um, what I think about it after the polyurethane. Uh, I also do not think that I'm going to sand these down. Uh, I will revisit that thought once um, everything is dry enough uh, but because I'm not going to really be doing food prep on this um, countertop I just don't think it's that much of a need and I can just continue to fill with the polyurethane but let's get to showing you what these look like apparently Justin did not want to tell you about it <laughs> And also, uh, if you've enjoyed this series, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification so that you can see the finished walkthrough video, which should be next week, hopefully. And uh, yeah, like and comment. Okay, here we go. We'll start in the bathroom. So this area is where I resprayed where I scratched it. Um, and I still need to finish the, the cleanup paint on the wall because of the overspray. You can see how it just spreads whenever you wipe it. Um, so I will be sanding any of that and repainting it, but it just looks absolutely beautiful. And you can see this section where I came back in and repainted it, blends very well, you can't tell. So that is the bathroom. Let's go on to the kitchen. Um, yeah, this filled in really nicely um, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. So here's a section that I'll probably respray. And like here where there's some some of this see this will just scratch off so I'll take a razor blade and clean that off before I polyurethane and then here is this upper counter
And my suggestion, um, again, uh, the overspray was real. So I got overspray on my wall. Just really make sure that you tape everything off and plastic all of it. I am gonna have to go back and repaint, uh, do touch up painting. But yeah, it's, it's rough to touch, but it's not super rough to touch. So that's why I'm thinking I probably won't sand. I'll let the polyurethane. And here's the one up here in the bedroom. My last minute one that I actually forgot about. Look how beautiful that looks. I really hope that it's coming through on camera. Uh, the videos that I watched of people doing it um, did not look as pretty as this does. Not because I'm being snobby about my work, but because I just think it doesn't show up on camera um, how nice it, it looks. But I'm very much in love with this and I'm very glad that I did it. And I think it looks beautiful with the black cabinets and then the white sink and the white cabinets. Okay, you guys, that is the walkthrough, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, like, subscribe, and comment, and make sure you come back and check next week's video because I will uh, talk to you about polyurethane, and we will be doing the final walkthrough of the RV. I've really had a lot of fun doing this renovation, and uh, I want to really show off the, the final walkthrough. So thanks, guys. Bye.